Hey, so today I'm going to be showing you how to put together a bridle. So you are going to need a noseband if you use one, um, a headpiece with the throat lash, a brow band of your choice, two cheek pieces, a bit. your reins and this is if you choose like it's up to yourself a uh, martingale okay so we are going to take the brow band and the headpiece or crown piece whatever you call it um, and the throat lash goes to the back of the horse so Say your horse's head is facing that way and the tail's facing that way, the throat lash goes to the tail and on the right side. So when you buckle up, it's on the left side. See? Okay, so you're going to get your bow band and for it to be the correct way up, it's going to have to sit like this, but you have to thread it on through the left side. So basically, you put your pieces, your throat piece, throat lash piece where you tighten your throat lash and your cheek piece part and you go round to here. So it looks like this and then you're going to put this bit, these two bits, <coughs> through here. Sorry. Um, now there's my phone beeping, and then you have your headpiece. So you can go on and buckle your throat lash up. I just find it gets it out of the way. So it does, so you don't get confused. It's my opinion, you don't have to do that. So we have <coughs> two, one, two, and they're both pointing the brow band. Okay, so next we are going to get our cheek pieces. And this, this bit faces in towards the horse. On my bridle, it may be different on yours, but the fancy stitch faces outwards and the buckle faces in towards the horse. So I'm going to buckle this up. And if you know your horses, like say you've took it apart and you know what hole your horse is on, go ahead and put it on that. If you're not sure, then leave it probably on the biggest satin. Um, sorry, it annoys me on this stuff looking at. So put that on both sides. And up to the top for me. And then put it in the keeper. Okay. So you're ready to attach your bit. Okay. So first, get your bit, and the bars have like a slight bend in them, so that means this bit, you're going to look, so it's kind of like a smiley face, like this would be, in my eyes, this is a sad face, so this is a smiley face, um, so it bends, like it won't bend that way, so it bends this way, so you can fold your bit like that. So then you're going to get your bridle and the fold. So the one to the right goes on the right cheek piece. So once you've got that on, it looks like this. And the smile is going to go towards the other cheek piece. So I put this in. And just buckle it up. Sorry, this is really stiff. It's a new bridle. I've only used it like three times. So. There, it's just hanging and I've got this cheek piece and so then I bring this up and through the loop. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and buckle this up. Sorry. Okay, so once you've established that, you can 
get your nose band. Sorry. And have this open. And then this bit, which goes around the crown, take it off. So the longest strand is going to start from your right side of the bridle. And you're going to put it up here. So it's going to come out here. Sorry, this is really stiff. Just poke it up in. And this doesn't match because my nose band's down at the yard. Because I don't use a nose band. So this is just a nose band I could find. So then you're going to come... Oh, sorry. So you've got it a considerable amount. And then you're going to go down through here. It's really stiff. And bring it down. Oh, shoot. I tangled it. Okay. Make sure you don't do that. And pull down. Sorry, this is really stiff. So... Then you have your nose band. And then take your piece, which is on the inside of your bridle, and go ahead and buckle it up. And then tuck it in at your keeper. So there's your nose band. And for now, tie up your bridle. So put your nose band around all the straps so all the straps are inside your nose band. And do up your nose band. This is if you want to. I would do this, but I always do this just so I don't get confused. So there you go. It's around your bit and everything. Okay? You just tuck your throat lash in. So next we're going to go for the reins. Okay? And you're going to join up your reins. If you have split reins, then this is different. Okay? And you're just going to run down and making sure there's no twists in them. So they're straight. And then get to your leather pieces. Okay. And again, mine go inwards. So I have my bridle like this. Okay. So my horse is facing that way. And I'll get my outside rein and put it on my bit. And go ahead and do it up. Sorry, these are really stiff. And then your other rein. Oh, it's tangled. Put it in there. Do it up. Come on. Oh, it doesn't matter for now. Not using this bridle, so sorry these pins keep stuck. So there you have your reins attached to your bridle, and now for your martingale. So your reins are all nice and even, so and they're not tangled. So you're gonna open your reins, but keep them the way they are for now, and get your martingale, and you're gonna have your martingale rings. And then have your neck bit. So this is the head of the horse. Now it's around your neck of your horse. So horse is facing that way again. This is the way I find it's easiest. So my two rings. I put this one on there. This one on there. And buckle. Before I let them drop. Because then I know my reins aren't going to get tangled. And then buckle. And then you can go ahead and tie up your bridle. So undo your throat lash. Get your reins. Put them on. And then... Oh, sorry. It's tangled. Get your neck piece on. And then your girth attachment on. And then do up your throat lash. And now your bridle is tied up and ready for the next time you ride. So there you have it. All you need to do is undo your throat lash and undo your nose band. So there is your bridle ready to ride. Thanks for watching. Bye.